able to activate it. some sort of mutual understanding? That is not okay! The Dainichi Mikoshi should be accessible again now. Let's get down there and see! Blade embraces its duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. But this will vicious! And dangerous ones by the looks of it! Guess they're the elite, huh? Still no sign of Sumi, though! Stabilize! Let's light it up! Let me scry! Whirling snow! Jet! Solidify! My apologies! Oh, my God. 
Since you came back, I'm curious to know, did our rescue operation succeed? Some baby fishes were rescued before we got there, but the old and weak fishes went back in the water to hide after we defeated the elites. Um, Sumi, are you really a fishes person? I have no intention of explaining anything. Although I can communicate with you, I know all too well that interaction with humans can only end in betrayal. The conflict between our two kinds will go on forever. Before I leave, I'm going to destroy this light. Do not come any closer, and don't even think about trying to sneak up on me. This tower seems to hear my wishes. I just need to think the thought, and it will change its brightness. And if I so desire, it will collapse before me. With the cognitive equivalent of a click of the fingers, I could destroy this source of great pain for the bishops. So why, why can't I do it? Oh no, this is way more serious than losing access to the Blood Branch Coral. What are we gonna do? <gasps> It's. pendant in the shape of are those three entwined snakes this pendant has been with me for as long as i can remember why does it fit with your two pieces don't be ridiculous are you trying to say that that i paimon doesn't understand this one is kokumi's this one is from the dainichi mikoshi And Sumi's has been with her all along. <sighs> I grew up with the bishops. My only possessions were this pendant and a few boxes of books. I learned human language and writing from them. But not long after that, Enkonomiya was left without a single human being. It became completely empty. Only recently did I finally have the chance to make contact with humans and and learn what the things I'd read in the books really meant. Sumi... There's a saying in your human books that I never understood until right now. People belong where they are born, but creatures belong where they are fed. I am a bishop, not a human. So I'm going back to where I belong. I guess the Dainichi Mikoshi isn't my concern. But we'll be back one day. Sumi is gone. Why did she suddenly change her mind in the end? Right! Kokomi will have definitely anticipated this possibility. That would be why she gave us the pendant fragment in the first place. Everything's resolved here. Let's go back and tell her. You're back. The soldiers briefed me about what happened. You successfully worked with a shrine maiden named Tsumi to clear the darkness. But then there was an unexpected change at the Dainichi Mikoshi. Is that so? Yeah, that's right. But after that is where things started to get all kinds of weird. Really? Uh, sorry. 
sorry, Kokomi. Paimon feels kind of bad that we ended up giving your pendant away. There's no need to apologize. As I said, Watatsumi Island has no further need for it. It's a relic from back in the very beginning when the Watatsumi Omikami reorganized the court and reformed Enkanomiya. The three pendants were given to the Dainichi Mikoshi, the Sangonomiya line, and the vassals of Watatsumi. The original intention was that the common folk, the officials, and the divine vassals would all hold each other accountable. But today, only the common folk have flourished while the other two bloodlines have declined. So the pendant is of little use anymore. Funny you should say vassals. One of the soldiers seemed to think that Sumi was one of those. But actually, her vertical pupils meant that she was a reptile. She fooled us all. That's not true. Vassals of Watatsumi typically take on a half-human, half-snake form, symbolizing that they are the familiars of our serpent god. At least, they used to. Over time, the vassals gradually became identical to humans, all except for the pupils of their eyes. But Vishap people and reptilians, they're pure fiction. There is no evidence for their existence anywhere among Sangonomiya's classified documents. Oh, so Sumi isn't actually a bishop? The Watatsumi Omikami exhausted its power to create Watatsumi Island. And after that, it grew weaker and weaker. No more vassals of Watatsumi were born after that. But the records do mention the very last of the vassals. All our hopes were placed onto her. She was going to be the one who could communicate between the bishops and the humans. But when she was just an infant girl, she and her guardian shrine maiden were attacked by bishops at the border of Enkanomiya. Her whereabouts have been unknown ever since. Most believe she died that day, but some believe she was raised by the bishops. The people of Watatsumi owe a great debt of gratitude to the vassals of Watatsumi. Now that the bishops and Watatsumi Islanders no longer have a territorial dispute, I sincerely hope that she will find her way to where she belongs. Wherever that is for her. What a story. Still, now that we know how Blood Branch Coral works, I, as Divine Priestess of Sangonomiya, may need to think of a new way to counteract the Holy Soil phenomenon. For the time being, however, the issue is resolved. And all thanks to you, Watatsumi Island will be at peace for many decades to come. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> <laughs>